Now the Victorian Derby will kick off day three of the final day of the season. Then it's a group one for three-year-olds Ramona Hoff, obviously, and dangerous outcomes at the top for Joshua Sutherland, House Hyden, Dan Hughes, Morse, Paul Rhodes, Raiding Party, Leon Van Rensburg, Rapturous Calm, Craig Allen, Ridgewood, Craig Beckwith, Terrible Ancient, David Robertson and Trapanga Eyes for Darren Thompson. Darren Thompson who's three behind Vinnie Gerard going into this final day in the Alley away and racing in this battle to be the champion. Some people like to see it done on money but on winners, which is what I'm doing it on, it's Vinnie Gerard three up on Darren Thompson and I don't think anybody else is close enough to take it. They'd have to have a stellar final day. But it's Morse who's in the lead then. From House Hayden, the prize money up for stake in some of the races today means that there's probably about eight people could still win the money side of it. But it's Morse in front by two lengths to Dangerous Outcome in second. House Hayden the Grey is next in Terrible Ancient with Trapanga Eyes between them. After that one comes Raiding Party, Ridgewood is next and then Rapturous Calm at the back. But Morse is in the lead and the win for Paul Rhodes here might get him closer to Vinnie Gerald at the top in that money list. I think they're the top two. Dangerous outcome is second. House Hyden is third. Dan Hughes had a, his best season, I would think, and so too has David Robertson, who's in fourth with Terrible Ancient. And Darren Thompson. And Trapanga Eyes, another who must have had his best season as well. They all won Rensburg, not done so well on the flat this year. But he's stormed the National Hunt side of things with a title sewn up two or three weeks ago. And it's Morse in front with six furlongs to go. Morse in the lead. Morse had a string of seconds earlier in the season. Yeah, dangerous outcome second. House Hyden is back in third. Then comes Terrible Ancient. Then Raiding Party won the derby. Of course, uh, Trapanga Eyes after that one. Rapturous Calm is next. Ridgewood is the back marker. But it's Morse in front. With four furlongs to go. Dangerous outcome is next. Then House Hyden and Terrible Ancient Raiding Party on the outside. These have pulled clear of Trapanga Eyes, who's now being switched to the outside for a run. Rapturous Calm and Ridgewood have got mountains of work to do as they pass the three furlong pole. And Morse is still in the lead. He does have a tendency to just stop like he's been shot, though. And it's House Hayden in second. Terrible Ancient is third. Then comes Raiding Party and Dangerous Outcome Trapanga Eyes. He's got a lot of work to do if he's going to do anything for Darren Thompson towards catching uh, Vinnie Gerard but it's Morse now and Morse is stopping as usual and here comes House Hayden to sweep by on the outside and House Hayden takes it up it's House Hayden who's gone on terrible ancient he's closing in second the Derby winner raiding party trying to redeem his reputation back in third but it's going to be House Hayden who's going to take this one House Hayden wins it easily from dangerous outcome second Trapanga Eyes third then raiding party and terrible ancient and Rapturous gone Morse might have ended up last a rare Paul Rhodes horse that doesn't go through with his challenge at the end but House Hyden oh, I'm pretty sure took the Irish Derby or the French Derby or something like that as well definitely won a big Derby I think was favourite odds on for the Epsom Derby and got beaten but he's won this one and House Hyden for Dan Hughes the winner, dangerous outcome for Joshua Sutherland second, Trapanga Eyes for Darren Thompson, round to be third Raiding Party for Leon Van Rensburg was fourth and Terrible Ancient for David Robertson was fifth